Okay, folks, let's get started, and um, hopefully this will be a trial and error. I am assuming that the sound volume will not be too crazy for you guys. So this is a game that is um, I've had for a long time, and I wanted to play it the other day on um, my Xbox, and it's not working. So um, I got it for the PC. And looks like there's some other details that it has on the PC, but this is a, f a really fun game, and you guys can check it out here. It's been out for a while, and uh, one of my favorites. It's area area movement, and we'll just get started here. We're gonna go with uh, we're gonna play uh, with a computer opponent. <coughs> um, well, we're gonna play the bad guys, no matter who you who you want. You could either play uh, we're gonna play the Axis since we're on the assault. And um, let's do the whole campaign. It isn't too involved. And a faster AI, more suitable for casual players, or Zhukov, a slower but smarter opponent, challenge veteran players. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna go full Zhukov. This is actually a really nice-looking game, in my opinion. Please let me know if the volume is too loud for the music. I may just turn it down a little bit, anyhow. Let's see if I can get away with doing that. And let's drop this to about negative 30. Okay, I'm back to work. So you got objectives, victory points. None of that stuff you got to worry about. This is kind of a nice little... Um, This is a kind of a nice little screen here that basically tells you what units are out of supply and so forth. So um, red is out of supply, blue is good, and mixed is the hashes in between them. Weather, we don't have anything to worry about right now. Air interdiction, we have the Luftwaffe available for air interdiction. And a um, little bit of history there. So we're going to close this. This is your basic board, and it is... There are some things that make this game very unique. One of them is you do not know um, how many orders you're going to be able to do in a day. Each one of these units are a division size element. And um, so if we scroll over here, I'm the blue ones or the blue gray ones. Um, second core, 23rd core, I guess those are core units, but. This is 1st Panzer, 6th Panzer, 7th Panzer. And the units here are, are as you can see, in detail. So, um, basically, these are all in this zone here, and they're in conflict already. Same thing here. These guys are free to be. We've got supply zones here. But the objective is, we've got the Moscow, of course. And um, you see, we have a little Kremlin up there. It's actually a really nice-looking game, I think. And I've played it quite a bit on the Xbox. So I'm curious how different it is. Um, okay, so the first thing is uh, select one Soviet unit. It will be interdicted and unable to move today. So there's one unit that's not going to be able to move. One of these little boxes. I'm going to put this on the um, 108th Tank Division. because We don't want this guy being able to jump on top of us. So we're going to commit to that. And that unit is not going to be able to advance. All right. Um, right. So we've got prepared. So we've got prepared attacks. And uh, in the first couple turns, I'm going to be able to attack, and they're not going to be able to reply. So I want to just punch through here. So these guys are already in conflict. I'm going to select this zone. And when you select it, it shows the enemy units here and your friendly units, and also about what your expected casualties here are at the bottom. And it's not necessarily accurate, but this kind of gives you the percentage of what the casualties are going to be. So there's no chance of me getting any casualties or these German units to get any casualties because um, it's one of these first turns of, um, of this day. And uh, so there is a small percentage chance of getting three casualties, four, five, or then the retreat. If you see these pips, 
this is basically the strength points of them. So the best way to just show you is just watch it happen. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and commit here. I basically select one zone and we get to play that and you'll get to see what happens after that. So each one of these hits that I have can cause a casualty, has a percentage to cause a casualty. So it caused seven hits, which damaged quite a few of these units, and they're forced to retreat. So you can see that weaken them. Now here, is, this is the interesting thing about the game. This is the bar of turn. When you get to the end, your day is over, and you reset. Um, <laughs> driving on Moscow, yeah. This, Nordic, this is a super freaking cool game. This is, I wish they made more of these. Um, and I played this one a lot on the on the Xbox, but it didn't want to work, so I figured I could spare four bucks for it. That's all it costs, like four dollars and change. Okay, so this is the unique thing about the game, is you have this bar, and look how much time got used up. It's the blue. Okay, so um, the uh, the Soviets do not get a um, a turn this first one, um, so you won't see the red getting consumed. So. Now we get to do another prepared offensive. Defending units do not get any defensive fire. See how these guys are marked, are darkened? I've already activated them. All right, so. Um, if I activate this unit with these three units, I'm going to be able, I should be able to blitz through here and punch through there. So. Hopefully I don't screw this up because I'm used to how it is on the Xbox, but I want to send all three of the units there. Nope. Okay. That is the 20th Panzer Division. We're going to send the 33rd Motorized. And the Shrek. Okay, and here are the odds here. You see, And we will go ahead and commit. Come on. Hose all of them. Still one hit on a guy. So the retreat. I believe I get three prepared offensives this first turn. It is on Steam, yes. And they have a Battle of the Bulge one, and it's just as good. Okay, now if you look at the supply, you will see that I've punched a supply hole in here. Now let's make sure I don't press the wrong thing. No, nope, I want to go back to the game. Um, let's take supply off. There we go. Okay, good. I'm familiar with the Xbox controls, not just with this one. Okay, so I'm going to get one more chance to attack and nothing happened. Um, what's over on this flank? We're going to attack with these panzers right here. Two hits, three hits, four hits, five hits, six hits, seven. The whole unit's eliminated. Now I'm going to get a free blitz. So normally you could move this guy here. If I move one guy, that'll tie him down over to Dorgoboruts. Dorgoboruts. Sounds like something you call somebody. You Dorgoboruts. But we're going to send everybody up to Shitskova. Um, let me make sure I press the correct one. And the next one, too. And... If this guy's ballsy enough to send a guy here to cut off, cut me off, then he just cuts me off. I'm going to send everybody up. And he may do that. Okay, look how much time went by. Okay, now it's a Soviet turn. So you get to activate one zone. Okay, and that's worth two victory points, so he moved over there. Six hours passed. Okay. So, um, 
this really isn't a priority to fight that. Now I get to activate these guys again. Man, I feel like I need to really... Let's get crit. Let's go full Gadarian on these guys. Uh, here's a question. Can I put, move these guys and move them up? Let's come back here. Um, there we go. I can. All right. Oh, we're gonna get in, we're gonna get ourselves in trouble here. All right. Oh. Move them there. We'll move them there. And you don't want to spread your guys out because if you spread them out in different zones, every time you only get to activate one zone. So you'd want to concentrate your forces. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and commit. See, it actually put a hit on me. Yeah, it's just overkill. Let's get a blitz out of this. Uh-huh. We just took Kaluga. I'm moving everybody in there. Um. Ah, you see this? It's actually a bridge unit, so I can only move one guy through there. So let's move. You see how some have a an emblem of the unit? That's actually a unit that's a little bit more powerful. Shit. Did I fuck up? No. He goes there. This is a bridgey, so I can only move one unit across that. So... That's the 10th Panzer Division goes that way. Where are we going to put the 11th? I don't really want any of those zones because my objectives are up here. I will keep them both. Can I move them back here? Keep the supply up. Well, these guys are tied up. He's tied up. You're not gonna. They can't move out of these zones. And I tied up the tank unit. We're gonna commit and just do that. All right. Now the Soviets get a turn. Mm-hmm. Running away, eh? All right. So now these guys, see how these are darkened? Those units won't be able to move. And supply does matter. You can, like, isolate guys big time. Look at this zone over here. Oh, let's all right, let's right click. That's the cancel button. I'm not really interested in moving those guys. I think the next day is prepared offensive. If that's the case, I'm gonna take these two units and move them in here. That way I can go in the forest and cause some casualties on them and not take any. I believe that's the case. Uh, these smart Alex, I've seen them come over here and lock these down, and then they're out of supply. So, with that said, I think I'm going to take these these units and move them here to Vizyam, Viz, Viz, Viziasma, Viziasma. Okay, because if they do that, I'm still going to be able to keep these guys in the supply. So, we're going to move them here. Oh. Here, I'm still. Oh, look at that! It, I can only move one guy across it because of a damn river. All right, let's unselect that. Interesting. No, it's it's a simple game, but there's a lot of there's a lot of different um, ways to skin a cat. the risk of taking some damage. Let's activate these right here. Yep. That unit's going to get destroyed. The question is, where am I going to be able to blitz to?
I'm going to move. I can only get one unit in from this way because of that damn river. So we're going to take first panzer. Let's take first panzer. it here. Then we'll take 7th and drop it on Rajave. And then we'll take this one and we'll leave it That's okay. Ah, heard a little horse tracks. That's okay too. I gotta move those guys. I got those guys to move out of there. Now we'll move the heavy Panzer Grenadiers. Now they can move too. Can't put a third one there. These guys have already moved, so we're going to move them here. Because when I move these two other infantry units there, then I'll be have three units in there. Airborne troops. We focused everything over here and we haven't done anything on this side and usually you can blow open through this. God, these still have something to do. So what happens is if I can throw one of these units, but the problem is is these other two Panzer units won't attack the 33rd Army. How far can these guys get? They can get all the way into here. And I can reinforce this group. All right, we're going to move Das Reich here. Crap. I'm used to the controls on the Xbox. That's not what I wanted to do. Here. And we'll move 20th Panzer there as well. And third motorized. Third motorized. Here. Now we got two ones that are completely stacked at three. Soviet turn. What are these commie bastards going to do? That's fine. Now, these guys are totally cut off, so that's not really a priority. And unfortunately, infantry can only move one. So, That's the problem. It's just that's those guys are holding everything up. No, that's not going to be a priority. They're going to flee like cowards. Let's hope so. Uh, I've played this game many times, and there's so many different ways to skin a cat. It's really a cool game. I wish there was more games like this. It, it's a good-looking game. I think it's a good-looking game. We're going to need to have this infantry up here. I just don't know if that's really a priority. Fighting these guys... This is just, this isn't a priority, these two hexes back here, or these two squares. 
these guys can only move one, so by the time you do it, they can only, you know, these are, you take two of these units and you, and you go and attack this guy when he's tied up. I don't want to do it right now when he gets a defensive roll. And unfortunately, his one Panzer's here by himself, so do you want to really waste an activation of one guy? So let's take this 9th Panzer Division. We're going to have to make some headway and move here. Oh, and move here. And the other two units that are already there will also be activated. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and commit and see if we can blow a hole over there. Okay, just eliminate that unit. Alright, what kind of a blitz we're going to get? Nice. Nice. Um, part of me wants to put him here because I've got options open. Uh, here I'm 1, 2 from Kursk. Here I'm 1, 2, 3 from Kursk, but 2 from Orel. I'm going to move them to Orel, all three of them. And that could mean that he brings this one army and comes over here to try to cut me off, in which case I'll pounce on him with some panzers. Because when the weather starts going bad, you're only going to be able to move one, one space per turn. Uh-huh. Made him run away from Kursk. Doesn't extend all the way to the right. It doesn't? Oh, yeah, it doesn't. How come? See if that's better now. I wish, you know, you'd change these settings and then they would they would come back in the same way the last time you did something, but I guess that's too much to ask. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so we're limited on stuff. What how far can these guys move? They can get right behind them. See so you've got to decide what your priorities are, because time's kind of a wasting. I honestly think I've got to move these guys, or otherwise I'm, they might counterattack here, and that's a problem. So let's activate this. Let's activate this. Move them there. Activate this guy. Move them there. And commit. All right, now that we've done that, there he goes to cut me off. Yeah, I kind of knew that was happening. Well, not a whole lot of time passed, so he just opens... He just opens himself up now. So, if we go here, of course, we're going to take some casualties going in the open. These guys can punch all the way through and keep them under supply. That sounds pretty good. Let's do that. And then this guy will go here. And then this guy. If I move him here, it's going to trigger a battle. This is a guy that's kind of useless anyways where he is. I, if I don't want to move him here, I'm going to move him here. Oh, I don't like the mods. Let's move him here. I do get replacements, but it's oh so few. Technology sucks. Sometimes. 
I should receive the game I bought last week tomorrow. Victory in the West, Plan Yellow, the French campaign from GMT Games. That comment you just did was um, flagged. I guess you can't say Blitzkrieg now? Pfft. Idiots. All right, we're going to commit. Soviet turn out. What do we got? Well, that's... that's I guess that's where he's going to die. <laughs> I thought he was going to go and hang out in Kalinin. All right, we may only get, like, one more move. So the, here's the question is, is, what do you do? This I'd love to move this infantry, but it only moves one. I think I gotta move these tanks. I think I gotta move these. I gotta activate these guys. What are the odds if I move in there? What does it look like with one unit? It's not terrible. That's not bad either. And he can't go that far, so I might as well put him here. I'm going to take some casualties, probably. I was thinking he wasn't even going to take a hit. Okay, so we're good on supply for these guys, for sure. And the Soviets pass, and it's my turn. It's passed and no time went by. Um, wow, I wasn't expecting to get to go again. Oh, oh yeah. Now we got a full unit, although this, what unit is that? Gross Deutschland. It's just a regiment at this point. Yeah, it's only a one ticker. And the turn's over. And I'll tell you the odds in just a second. Let me... Never tell me the odds. Let me unplug here and just a moment. That. I'll show you how odds are. It's not really odds, but you know what your casualties possibilities could be. It's just a, it's such a freaking good game. This is such a good game. It's simple and it's deep. Okay, so now the turn's over. So what does that mean? Well, we continue. All right.
right, victory points. I've gotten two. Um, it's basically a draw if you're between 32 and 42. And if it's more than 42, it's a win. So I got two points for Kaluga. Okay, prepared offensives on the first two turns. So I'm going to get prepared offensives again. Yeah, prepared offensives coordinate attacks by axis on turns one through three. Okay. And again when the frost arrives on turn 12. And the Soviets get them on the 19th and the 20th. I mean, if there's any Soviets left. Supply situation looks good. You see the... The Panzer push through there. Nice. Weather is still good. We still have one unit available for interdiction. And that's the little history thing here. Okay, I'm gonna interdict I'm gonna interdict that freaking tank unit again. I don't want him going in well I have, I've played them both. And I like them equally. No, it just encompasses Moscow, unfortunately. I'd play the whole Eastern Front if it was like this. They actually had a Desert Fox one as well. It was only available for um, the iPad, and I got it. I never got a chance to play it because there was an update for the iPad within one day, and it was the 64-bit apocalypse, and they never redid the game with 32-bit. They never redid the 32-bit game with 64-bit. So I never played it. It was like basically at Alamein. But this company got bought out by Matrix or something like that, and that's it. It's a shame. It's, it's, a, it's a wonderful game. It's a wonderful game. Thank you. That was stuck. That's why. Was it? Yes. Okay. I don't understand why everybody's ice machine doesn't work. Okay. Um, okay, so one unit that gets interdicted. So let's look at the options. There's no point interdicting a unit that's already in combat because it can't move out of there. I don't think. Um, this guy, he's just sitting out here in Vol Volokomalsk. Jeez, why don't the Russians speak English? <laughs> Um, so, you know, Orel, let him die in Orel. Screw him, you know. Um, the tanks, the tank is, Bryansk is not a priority for me to take. Uh, we can just surround his ass there. And um, the guy in Tula might not be bad to, to keep him penned in there. I think it's this tank guy, because he's just going to cause all kinds of interdiction problems. So we're going to commit to commit to that. And I have one armor replacement up here in the top. So anything that has that little ticker missing, you see how this one, this seventh panzer is missing two. First is missing one. Another one on the second. Um, seventh panzer seems like it's a good candidate. Um, there's enough tank strength over here. I'm gonna put it on this guy because these guys are kinda weak. So we're going to should be able to select them and commit to that as well. Okay, another prepared offensive. Defending units don't get any defensive fire. So here is where you take these three units and you drop them on Rejev. Because I'll be able to attack them, cause casualties to them, tie these guys down, and, um, you know, you're waiting... For GMT to release Barbarossa Army Group North 1941 and Barbarossa, Barbarossa Army Group South 41. Should be out next year. I have Army Group Center. You can combine all three into one. That's cool. I would love to play those kind of games. I just don't want to play them wrong. I dig all that stuff. Um, and there's a supply point here. I wonder if I can... No, I can't move through two through that. All right, so we're going to move the lair. And so here's the odds. You're going to see that. Okay, so here's the probability down here at the bottom. So the odds are if I move them in there, it's going to cause no casualties. I'm not going to take any because this is a prepared offensive. Okay, um, that's the only reason why. So let's take the second core and move them in there as well. 
and now there's zero and a small chance of causing one casualty and the 23rd core now there's that that's my best chance to tie those guys down if I jump on those units in Rejev not in a prepared offensive turn you're gonna I'm, I'm gonna take all kinds of casualties that I really can't replace so um, and I don't want to tie up my Panzer forces doing that so we're gonna throw those guys in and we're going to commit. Now you see how they have a little building there? That actually keeps them from getting a hit. From a hit getting taken to them. So I actually got three hits. One was was soaked up by this building. Because they're, you know, defending. This one was soaked up from this building. And one of them was put on this unit. So they didn't take a whole lot of damage. But now they're tied up down there. And that flank is secure. Yeah, I would love that game you're describing on computer because then I, you know, I can just play it and I can't play it wrong, you know. Okay, here's an another prepared offense. Okay, now. See, these guys can only move one here. So this would be the time is you take these three units and you drop them on these guys. Because they can all cause all kinds of damage to them. Can I do it with ease? Or is this too far away? No. No, they can't do it. Alright. I really don't want to um, throw these Panzer units in here and, and really mix it up. So I don't mind doing that now. What other candidates do we have? Orel can wait. We're just going to bypass that tank in Bryansk. These Panzer units here are the 7th Panzer, 14th Motorized, and 36th Motorized. I can jump on this guy. He's in the open, not in defensible terrain. I think of everything I'm going to... Um, we're going to drop all three of these guys on these heads. And if he's going to come back and take Kaluga, that's fine. I want to take. I want to put all three. Of them in there. See, see the odds. There's a small chance of doing nothing, a, a, a larger chance of doing one. That's kind of like the odds of the. If, if this is like a hundred percent of the chance, that's that's what the odds are. So we're going to commit to it. We're taking a little bit of a risk leaving Kaluga open, but. You know, if he comes and takes Kaluga, I'll jump on Tula. I put two hits, but none were done to me. The road to Moscow is open. Yeah, the problem is, is you can't move really fast. So we're working on it. It'll fall. Okay, so they got some reinforcements, and that's where they're placing them. And it's fun playing the Soviets, too. Now, what kind of a moron puts tanks in a forest? A commie moron. <laughs> How far can these panzers go? Well, we could jump on Aurel. You see that? he's got That's a guard's tank brigade. It's only a brigade. Okay, they didn't move through Kaluga, so wh where can these guys go? See, I can only move one zone. Um, oh, and now we're in a regular turn, so these guys could attack again. So if I were to activate these guys, look at what the odds are now. There's a chance I could take three casualties. So that's why I jumped on it when I did. Mike got quieter. Yeah, I moved it up from my... Let's see if we can do some compromise. I didn't want to, like, go, like, breathe heavy, and you guys get, uh... Someone's afraid of air power. Yep. So, see, if I... This attack I got to do for free, if I activate these guys now, look at those horrible odds. For me. That's just... That's just horrible odds. Um... 
We don't want to activate that. There we go. Whew. Get out of that screen. And you can, like, basically move everybody there and see what the supposed odds are before. Yeah, I moved it up on my face. I moved it up on my face, yeah. I'm just trying to avoid uh, having a breath of air, and then you guys get... Uh, can't hear anything. What happens if we move this guy here? What kind of... What direction is it going in? Well, we're probably going to blow a hole in him. Let's move everybody there and see what, what the odds look like. They didn't get much better. We're eventually going to have to fight him. What's the rest of this look like? Is that the priority? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Come on, put some hits on him. Just one? Jeez. Let's see what the... Oh, we dropped him on a rail. Okay. Let's see if I can adjust that. Since I like Ostfront so much, do you know where I can find detailed maps of the battle areas for some of the battles during Barbarossa? Um, no. No, I really want to see really zoomed in stuff, and it's just, I can't find it. This book I'm reading, I've never heard Os here said so many times. It's just like constantly, constantly, constantly. Um, we're going to have to move them into Kaluga. There's probably not a problem with somebody else going in there. Yeah, so what you do is you take this guy and you move him into here, and that'll activate these two Panzer Divisions where they can blitz out from there. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Let's not do that. Just eliminate this guy. Yeah, he got me his one hit. Good hit in there. Yeah, that was pretty piss poor. That was pretty piss poor. <laughs> oh, Moscow will fall. It's just a matter of when. Well, that was a dumb move on their part. Because I'm going to attack that way. So now you just made it so you just moved guys in the middle of the open. Yeah, you, gotta, you had to put his head in. Oh my gosh. Well, that didn't match the odds at all. It looked like it was going to do six or seven and make him retreat. Well, I guess you have to have it. That's a 6-1 result right there. Oh, good. I wanted a challenge. <laughs> yeah, your time's going to come. It's actually easier to play the Soviets.
Yeah, see, if I was to activate these two units, the Panzer unit can move all the way here. But the infantry unit can only move one. And because these two units are already have three units in of mine, I can't do anything. So there's not a big incentive in activating that one space. Yeah, that's pretty much what the Russian player does at this point. Um, these guys can only move one, right? Damn it. Yeah, I'm not going to waste their turn on that. All right. These guys have already moved because they're dark. What can these... What kind of trouble can these guys cause? Well, we can encircle Bransk completely. Let's activate these guys. I'm going to keep them together. Tool is only one. And the Soviets are already passing. Okay, that's that's because they don't have anybody to move, right? All their guys are dark. Yep. All right. You guys get any kickback on the wind? I, I keep hearing almost like wind sound, and hopefully you guys aren't getting deafened by that. I really don't want to throw in with a tank there. I don't think I have anybody that can move in here. I'd like to blockade this Bransk. These guys are only going to be able to move one, right? Yeah. Okay, so if we want to close this guy off completely, we're going to need to have, get to that spot. And they can't get there. They can get to here. And I hate doing this, but... Actually, this guy's really in not a whole lot of fear of getting attacked, so I will put this guy by himself there. And then I will move these other units here. Best way to fight guys is a little bit of wind. It's the fan. Let me drop it. It's probably like on five. Let me drop it to about a two. I can... No. It's never windy here. I gotta make it windy. I may get I may get one more turn after this one, so I got to think about what I'm going to do. Now these guys, these two units are cut off, so as long as I can hold here and here, they should be cut off. If I activate him, he can only move one. I don't really want to fight these guys until they're really out of supply. These guys moving here in Shotska. You took it in the Shotska. <laughs> um, if I activate these guys in combat, what does that look like? Not great. Can I throw somebody else in there? No. Oh, this is an interesting concept. I could get this guy and put him in here, and then we got another Panzer up in this zone. Or I could move all this infantry here. It's just so damn slow. Let's get the Panzer up there. That way he can move with this little motorized regiment. I guess we'll move him here. These, these two units tend to 
be left behind f all the time. Do I get another turn? I do. When it's time to move them, can they advance here? No. They're going to have to... It's more important to have these two motorized here than these three infantry here. So I'm going to move them here and move them here. And because I'm not going to activate these guys or they're going to be... They could get themselves in trouble. Let's commit to that. All right, let's look at the victory point objectives. Still only two, that's fine. We got enough time. Look at the supply situation. Oh, my guys look good. Okay, and here's where we start getting into problems with fuel checks. I still have Luftwaffe interdiction. Fuel shortages. The 5th Panzer in Karashev and the 9th Panzer in Kromny cannot move. That's kind of like a random event. Okay, so we're going to close this. And you will see there's a little blinking fuel thing. It's the guys that can't move. So you see this guy? That unit is not able to move. And this unit is not able to move. That's why it's already darkened out. You know, honestly... That's not, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Um, one unit can be interdicted and can't move. You see these two units that are surrounded? They're not able to move either. So, I don't care if these parachuters decide to try to do something cool. I don't care if they try to do something cool. Let's keep this 4th Tank Brigade in place. So, remember how you said you wanted them to go into the woods to escape air power? Guess what? They didn't escape it. Stuka, come looking for you. <sighs> All right, prepared offensive. So this is where we want to do attacks that we really don't want to suffer the damage for it. This is a good candidate because I never want to push on that one anyways. So there's no chance of me getting any damage. And I could do up to like three, possibly four hits on them. That... That side of the front never moves much. Um, this is another really good candidate. You know, I think I'm going to move up here. And then when the prepare, prepared offenses go, I get to go again and I can jump on them here on the, on the, on the outskirts. So I'll forego actually going into combat. I wonder if they can land the parachutes back here in Kaluga. Well, let them do that. Screw that. I'll take a rel. In Soviet Russia, tank dive bombs you, comrade. <laughs> Here's the reinforcements. You smell something funny? It's Siberians. Oh, I only get one prepared offensive. Okay, well now... Look at this. We can get to the outskirts of Moscow. What what are the odds going on the offense here? Whew. What if I throw some infantry so for some combined arms? Oh! That's ugly! That's ugly. Alright. Cancel, 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 cancel. going to retreat, aren't you? Armored cars defending Moscow? Begins. I'm taking up Wayne's spot of tossing out lame jokes till... You mean Kevin. Kevin's spot. Jokes with no punchline. 
You smell something good, but that's just my roast cooking in the oven, having roast with homemade gravy, mashed potatoes, and corn. That sounds good. Unless you're a vegetarian. But sucks to be you for being a vegetarian. These guys, how far can they advance? Right into Kaluga. That's perfect before they drop somebody on there. We can keep the line supply open. We're not attacking these guys back here. That, that just That's resources we don't have. That's resources we don't feel like spending on. So he goes here. Gross Deutschland Regiment goes with him. What do these commie bastards do? That's fine. I'd rather take a rel than Tula anyways. There's a high chance of them retreating. thankful I was forced to learn to cook. Why were you forced to learn to cook? I mean, I don't cook, and I don't go hungry. I'm eating all kinds of things that's, that's going to go bad. Dry goods. <laughs> I paint. I don't cook. I think I'd be good at it. I just don't like how much prep time it takes, and then clean up, and then, you know... If we activate these guys now, we're going to take a shitload of casualties. Alright. What about these guys? Casualties are a lot less, and we can add other pressure here. Let's activate these guys over here. Get them. Get those commie bastards. And they didn't retreat. Wow. They must have had the Panzer. They they must have had the uh, the Czech 35s, Seventh Panzer. No, they got 38s, I believe. This is going to be bad. Come on, man, put up a fight. Put up a fight. That's right. Kill those commies. Woo. I still call that a win to have put five hits on them. And I didn't even get any defensive bonus for being in the city. I didn't know that. This is just tying up this flank. When I was younger, my grandmother got tired one night of me asking her to what's for dinner. She made me learn to cook. I'd just make something really shitty. That'll teach her a lesson. <laughs> you sure you want me to cook, Grandma? Okay. <laughs> Joke's on you, Granny. Yeah, there's no way I'm jumping on that tank in the woods. Hell no. All right, what what do we got over here on the front? We could possibly attack there. That's not great. What are we looking like here? That didn't get any worse. If these guys are forced to retreat, what's that going to do? It could cut off my line of defense. But then I would just move here. What's the supply situation look like there? I think it's good through here. Yeah, it's good now. We can wait on this. That guy's a... F see, I see, if I fight this, you know, I'm taking a lot of casualties. And, you know, these guys are out of supply. They should be out of supply. The Russians should be out of supply. 
It's not really a priority for me. What's this look like? I don't have anything else for those guys to do. There we go. They just blew them open. Of course they're going to go there. I would have already had a guy there. Now. It's a good chance I'm going to get two hits. If you are out of supply in this game, does it not start dwindling unit strength? So you can't move, which is terrible for me. That's like literally the worst thing that could happen. And you fight crappily. Um, I got to, you know, stay mobile. So um, that's how it's handled, pretty much. Oh. These guys only trudge at one. That's not a priority. This guy can go where? Can he stack with anybody else? No. If I move them somewhere, it'd be here. And that's just to free up two spots to bring these two tanks in and this foot here. Yeah, if I hadn't frozen that tank in the woods, he'd come out here and probably fight this fifth panzer that doesn't have supply and cause some damage. <laughs> That's fine. You want to do that? That's just fine. I could also leave and go crush his ass. <laughs> I wonder why he was I wonder how he was able to leave this zone. I don't think I'd be able to do that. Just like DBA, how many times have I played this game and I I, I don't know that? Well, we did that whole move on the other side to make it happen, so let's make sure we did that. Because we didn't spend the whole time moving this one motorized division and then not do this so we're going to activate these guys okay they're going to go the 34th core is going to go here and the 18th panzer and the 17th panzer are going to go here whoa big consumption of turn yeah, I don't know how that Russian unit was able to leave. Maybe he's cheating. Maybe they're just sneaky. Soviet turns past. Do I get another turn? In Soviet Russia, DVA plays you, comrade, and always splits its command. Infinite pips. I see no point in risking taking some hits just to get him to retreat. And he's just going to retreat to Orel anyways, so... We can sit on that. Now, of course, next turn, a different one of these units of Panzers could be out of supply, so. If I only get one more thing to do, what is it going to be? Not over there. Not fighting this. Definitely not fighting that. Ooh, that's just ugly.
I could get three hits on me. I just don't see that as a winner. Let's punch these guys in the face. Get him! Come on! No! Nail him! Nail him! Nail him! Nail him! Well, I eliminated one unit. And what's left? Oh, hardly a turn at all. Oh, I get another turn. Okay, well, that was worth it. Because now we're only got one unit there. DBA logic. Or DBA illogic. <laughs> DBA abstraction. Okay, see this little see this little blinking thing here on Third Army? That's the you're out of supply thing. And again, I'm I'm gonna take hits doing that, so you just you just leave those guys alone. Yeah, well it's a full strength um it's a whole army holding up two panzer divisions. Well they're holding them up because I don't want to attack and take the casualties. Because, see how I got one Panzer replacement? I may only get two more Panzer points. So, um, for replacements. Well, I could take... This is the experienced guy, right? He's got a little symbol. He does. 43rd Corps. What if I dropped him in here? What if I dropped him here? And then what if I took this guy and moved him here? Let's do that. What's the key? Oh, there you go. Tells you the odds. The the other ver the the Xbox version didn't have this. Yeah, so here's a little breakdown of how everything is. Come on, get him. <laughs> That's pitiful. That's pitiful. Well, those three units are tied down there. Victory points is going to look great. Only four of it. That doesn't tell you the whole story. Supply situation's great. Okay, 3rd Panzer Division in Cromney and 4th in Cromney. So Cromney's like screwed for supplies. Where's Cromney? Okay, you see these units, they're basically out of supply. I guess the first turn they're out of supply, they're out of supply. Now they should be a lot easier to beat. We're just going to ignore them. Another unit that'll be interdicted. I'm thinking this 4th Tank Brigade is a candidate again. Either that or this infantry that's the 5th Army. That might not be a bad candidate. And you start off with these guys pushing into Moscow. I'm going to tie, tie up this 5th Army. There's a lot of dudes right here. That's a lot of hits. What is that, six? Or is it five? I can't count. I'm looking inside. It's six. You're getting interdicted, dude. Replacements. Oh, yeah. Um, second Panzer? I can't think of anything. We're going to jump on Moscow. Yeah. Let's put him on the second Panzer. We have the second Panzer, the 11th, and the third motorized. Let's commit to that replacement. First move, jump on Moscow. Oh my god! I can only move one guy in. Holy smokes. Because of that river. Scheisse! Let's move 
this out of the way. What if I moved in here? Oh, that's brutal. Oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. Let's undo. Undo. I'm moving the second Panzer into Moscow. That'll at least tie somebody up. It's freaking armored cars, man. It's armored cars. Screw those guys. Now, one thing I am going to do, the 5th Army is not going to move now, right? Um, I'm going to leave the 11th Panzer where it's at. I'm going to move the 3rd Motorized to try to capture Krasnaya Polyana. We're going to move it over here. So we're going to spread out to make sure that we have these... No, I'm not either. I'm not either. Alright, let me think about this. I'm telling you, this is a deep game. It's a simple game, but it's a deep game. Can I cross the river south of Moscow and come up on its left, left flank? Well, there's a effing river all the way around the thing. Let's look. Only from this direction. So I'm only going to be able to move one unit across. Well, I'm moving 2nd Panzer in. Um, you know, I'd rather move them in now than have to move them in later when this 7th Guards guy goes into Moscow. Because at least I'll get a defensive bonus. So, you Panzer Division, you're going in there. Man, I'm telling you, it's, um... If I move here, then these guys are end up going to go towards Kalinin. Let's move the third motorized here. Here we go. Oh, well, it is what it is. It's only going to get worse if I wait until that one guards unit retreats in there, and then I have to fight in there. They definitely would not have done that move if I had not moved into Moscow. All right. It blow a freaking hole in him right here. Eliminated. Let's move the 10th Panzer here. Let's make it a combined unit. We'll move Das Reich. Oh, Das Reich doesn't get to exploit. Okay, then the 20th goes here too. Yeah, it doesn't get to exploit. There you go. I got plenty of supply coming from the other direction, so. Oh, look at this. Okay, that's not a hurry item. Is this any better? Nope. Now, how does this look now that they're out of supply? Okay, there's no chances of me taking any damage. Oh, no, yeah. That's what the difference is. If you look at this key... Isolated. Defender can't fire back. That's what that means. 
So these little yellow things that are blinking, isolated. I love this game. It's this so, so it's such a deep game, and it's really a simple game. Oh, look at that. I can throw these motorized units into Kursk. Do it. I don't care if I take the casualty. That's going to tie the guy up. Okay, that's fine. Then the next turn, I bring the 34th Corps and throw them in as well. He won't get the points either. Here goes that tank brigade. Oh. Had enough, eh? Well, now we take a rel. With all three of them. Put two of them and one with this. Nah. Let's keep all the tanks together. I don't know how he's able to move out. I have no idea. And I've probably played this game... I've probably played 100 games, nah, 70 games of this game, between this one and the Battle of the Bulge one. Take Kursk and swing left. Absolutely. Can this guy do something useful? Oh, hell yeah. Now, my guys won't get to attack again. I'd rather have him here than here by himself. Yeah, there you go. We just took Kursk. Screw you, Kami. Turns over. Now. That sounds some, like some communist music. <laughs> We're up to 13. Supply looks great. Still good weather. All right, this, this is what's critical. So that tank unit that just got moved into a rel and cursed, they're out of supply. We have Luftwaffe interdiction available. Excellent. That's actually been really helpful. Okay, so who gets interdicted? Probably the tank brigade, but let's look at other options. Fifth Army. There's no doubt about it. Fifth Army is getting interdicted. No doubt about it. I have an infantry replacement. Mm, this is probably a good candidate so they don't fall prey. These are at full strength. I'm not going to put it there with those guys down there. Gross Deutschland only has one tick. Throw the motorized didn't take anything. So it's either... No, only people that are on the front lines are these guys over here. And I'm going to get it to the Lair Motorized Brigade because it has a symbol. So it, it's an elite unit, an eliter unit. And I'd like to for them not die immediately because they only have one unit left. So we're going to come into that. Now, you know what we're going to do? The very first thing is we're going to take one of these Panzer units. I would have liked to have taken the one that had elite status, but they're out of fuel. 11th Panzer. I wouldn't drop them on Moscow. Oh. And then the other one. This guy's out of fuel, too. Damn cronyism. I'll 
these guys are free to be. I never got a chance to move them last time. Well, you have to make your priorities. I actually think that that's kind of uh, a really cool thing about the game. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to interdict. I'm going to move him here. I'm going to move him here. Here we go. Here's the combat in Moscow. Unbelievable. I did two hits, but he's got two defense, so nothing. I'm going to have to end the turn with an, another unit here. I have to. <laughs> I got to be careful. This sneaky bastard would jump on Kursk if I don't leave anybody there. What are the odds of this guy by himself? Look at that, I could go all the way around him. I know if I want a motorized division all the way out there. What are the odds of him going into combat? What's that look like? And that's, that's, that's no good. Alright, I think it's time to move these guys. And I can't really cut these guys off because I have to come over here to this zone and take out their supply. Just being here won't do it. So, I think we need to go all in on Moscow. And here's the other motorized unit I didn't have before for next turn. You like game mechanics that make you have to think about how you're using your units. Yeah. Yeah, every game's different. Ah, I hear the horsey sounds. The sound of road apples dropping. <laughs> These guys are free to do shit. Well, I got one guy left in a row, right? He, this fifth panzer is going to get stuck there. I'm going to take these other guys and put pressure on these clowns. So if that fourth tank brigade leaves too, I just take it. going to reinforce it, aren't you? No. I wouldn't have done that. All right. What about these guys? I don't, they could stay in the damn woods for all I care. Maybe go take Voronets. 
as I will. I got somebody behind him. I sure as hell do. Works for me. Oh, he's attacking. Get him. Mow those guys down. Mow them down. Mm, he's going to win eventually with those kind of odds. Ooh, big turn. <laughs> Both of these guys are out of supply. <laughs> they idled their engines for so long oh, 30, in front of 33rd Army. Now, see, here's something that doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why these guys aren't out of supply. Because all of this is cut... Oh, I see. It's partially kind of in supply here. There's no one in this zone... Okay, well that's not a priority. It never is in any of the games. If you tie if you tie yourself down trying to sweep those guys out, you're just going to um, lose to the bigger picture. I don't. I don't remember if this parachute brigade can drop on Mosyansk, so I really don't want to leave this guy out of here. So I think we're going to do this in two stages. I think we're going to put the Gross Deutschland regiment here. Cause I, and then so I can move Das Reich up into Zanivgorod. So hopefully we, uh, we won't have enough time to do it. That's okay. Fuel checks, the most important thing. Three units. Where are they? And I got one armor replacement. Oh, you better believe it's the guy in Moscow. <laughs> I don't need to look at anywhere else. We're going to blow those little armored cars out of there. And we're going to start right here before anything else. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. See how it turned to mud? See how it's brown? If you move to Shkavoika, damn caps, you should be able to cut their supply off. I just gotta move where the hell that is. Shavoika, Shavoiska. Here. Yeah, those guys. Look, and both of these are eyes of supply. Oh well. Sorry. Not a priority. More than striking distance of that. I don't think they can do anything about that. The Moscow fight. We're going to throw the 36 motorized in there. Okay, if we can't take Moscow with this... Kill the bastard! Retreat, that's what we want. There it is. Moscow taken. Soviet surrender. Blammo. Pretty cool game. Now let's do a continue so I can look at the map. It's a really cool game. Really, really cool game. I didn't know it was going to end immediately.
Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of a break, and we'll start another game playing the, um, the Soviets. Bad guys beat the bad guys. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> The folks that hate most people um, <laughs> beat the ones that um, treat everyone unfairly bad. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a little bit of a break, very short, and I'll be right back and we'll play the uh, commie bastards instead of the Nazi bastards. We'll try to crush some skulls. Be right back. I will be here to do Soviet commentary, comrade. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Um, it's a beautiful game. It's a simple game. You know, and, he, and you... It, it's actual units that are... You know, that have units that have divisional symbols. It's not like some random core. Okay. Main menu. Congratulations, you have beaten your first AI opponent. Go find greater challenge in multiplayer. The, um, the version on uh, the Xbox did not have multiplayer. Okay, time to play. New computer opponent. We're going to play the Soviets. Halder or Guderian? Guderian. Slower, smarter opponent to challenge veteran players. <sighs> and we're not doing, we're doing the whole Moscow campaign, which is what we did. This is, that's the big one. It only lasted, it only lasted five turns. Okay, here we go. Who's he interdicting? The cavalry unit all the way down there. Okay. Get him. Let's get a panzer. Just one. These people, not my comrades. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. And this is another free attack that they get. Oh, I don't get to defend against them then. If it's a free attack, but they held. Call that a win. Mm. 
this is a free attack too. Which means I have no chance of putting a hit on him. Just hold, just some of you survive. Retreat's okay. Okay, now I get turn. Alright, let's look at the situation here. We got militia in Moscow. Oh, I did not want it to do that. Still not used to these controls. Alright, those guys are going to stay there. I can only activate one zone. <coughs> Units in one zone. And all these guys are going to activate again. So let's look and see what's the biggest threat. Put the coffee down. These guys are trouble. This is big problems right here. This is big problems. They could move too, so they could jump on Kursk. That's what I would do. What can this tank unit do? Well, he could jump in front of them. Can't quite move to Kursk. And they can move this far because it's by rail. So then on a rail thing, I believe they can move three. One unit, huh? The only people that can reinforce Kursk is this guy. One, two. They can only move two and attack Kursk. I think I need to do that before they jump on it. Mm-hmm. Put some hits on the Panzers. There you go. Two hits right off the bat. Come on, give me some more. Oh, I got hit bad. At least I put two hits on him. Now. I gotta cut these guys off. Is there anybody else that could do it? No. See how there's these little trenches here? They get some extra bonuses for being in the trenches too, so. Even though these guys look like they're out in the open, they're not that out in the open. Look at this tank go again. Tank's actually looking really good to go here in these woods. These guys move two zones. They could go one, two. So they're not going to be able to get to this zone. Nobody can get to this zone and attack them. Where can this guy get to? Can anybody get here? Yes, potentially these guys could. Alright, so we're going to hold him 
Where can he move to? Oh shit, I, I didn't want to do that. I had no intention of doing that. This guy can get to here. Alright, so we're going to move the tank here first, then we'll pull him out and move him to here. Okay. Kromi. It's a crummy place for them to be. Just put one hit on a panzer. Okay. That'll work. Oh, yeah. They just... They got completely blown away. They only moved one there, huh? I wouldn't have done that. All right, now we take the 9th, 13th Army and we join up with them. And what we want is we want time to go by really fast. We want to burn a lot of time here on that. I could even go here. Now, nah, we want to move these guys and cut these guys off. We've got more options here. What are they going to do? Moving the motorized guys up. Yeah. Then they'll exploit with those panthers. Panzers behind them. They wish they had panthers. Oh, it was looking really good there. It was looking good like I was going to get away with getting only one hit on me. No. Alright, this is a... This is getting bad. Well, militia ain't gonna. <sighs> All right, we did this. This is good. There's nothing else we can throw over there. These guys are stuck. They're stuck. This guy's free to move. So is him. However, the stuff around them, I don't think can. These guys may be able to pounce on me. I'm not sure that they can or not. Um, they can't move into Rejev just yet, so that's not really a priority. So the question is, do I want to move this guy or this guy first? And I think I need to move... These guys can move one, two. I don't want them to hit me. Can anybody reach Viziyama? No, I'm going to give it up. I'm going to go over here. Not one step back, comrade. I don't make a very good communist. I'm old school. I'm closet white Russian. <laughs> I make a terrible communist. Mm-hmm. Well, at least I get one guy to escape. Just put a hit on them. Just put one hit on the Panzers. That's it. Not even. <laughs> well, what do I got left? This guy goes here. Well, that's like no time that passed. Uh-huh. Yep, they're going to go all the way. Where's the other one going to go? Yep. I'll put a hit on him. Let me just see something for yucks. I have a chance of putting hits on them. This is not the time or place for that. I got half a mind to pull 29th Army into Rejev. What other options do I have other than to move the Moscow militia out?
Fifth Panzer in the woods. Nail him. Make him pay. Great. They're trying to make him pay, and they got no credit. <laughs> no turn again? Oh, man. No time went by. Well, what do I have left? Nothing up here. Get some, take some, take some guys down. Good lord. Only one hit? Well. Next turn. They're interdicting my tanks. Uh-huh, made, I made them do that. Uh-huh. You saw what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> he felt the shadow coming up behind him. <laughs> uh, here come these prepared offenses. All right, hold on one second. I got to be right back. Daughter said, I heard something in the garage. I'm like, shoot it, whatever it is. I figured out what Hitler would have called himself after conquering Russia. He would have been called a comrade, Fuhrer, comrade. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is bad. I'd jump right on, yep, that's what I would do. I'd jump right on that zone. I got problems now. I got problems down. I've actually... I don't know if I've ever, I've ever lost with the Soviets. But there's a first time for everything. And that's the bad thing, is I don't get another turn. Or wait, that was their first turn. Here, I get my first one. Okay. So I get reinforcements of six guards. I get these units right here. And I get to pick where they go. But they can only go in one zone each, I believe. So we're going to close this because that music is really annoying. All right. So one goes in Moscow. Another one can fall in Kursk. And probably one here in Tepifan. So... Am I going to get a turn? I'm 
we've got to cut these guys off. And it's normally not that difficult to do. But we're not going to screw around. We're going to put the 4th Tank Brigade in Moscow. And the other two are guards units. One of them is going to go in Kursk. And the other one is going to go... in Vladimir. And we're going to commit to that. All right, now... didn't want to do that I'm I'm used to I'm not used to right-clicking all right let's and I'm really not used to right-clicking because I just did it again there we go if I attacked I would get massacred so that's not an option well these guys are, st are stuck there then um, right-click to cancel put the tags in Moscow yes at least I got a chuckle out of you with that one yep Put the tank... I didn't even see that. The tanks go in Moscow. It's a no br Look, if armored cars cause that much of a problem... Um, yeah, we... I'm not too worried about a whole lot of stuff. I've played this game before. First thing I'm going to do as priority is let's get these guys out of the open and into Kaluga. Okay? That's where they're going to go. That's priority number one. So we're going to activate this, this zone... Gonna move them to Kaluga. That's a victory point, Hex, and we're gonna commit to that. I'm just gonna blow them sky high. Just get a hit. Just one hit on a Panzer. Great, zero turns passed. Where can these guys go? Nowhere, okay. It's, I'm okay leaving them there. Actually, moving them to Kalinin is probably not bad, but I don't really want stuff running through here. So they're actually fine where they're at. Um, all right, where can the tanks go? If I had to move the tanks now, I'd put them here in Rusa. But we don't need to decide to do that, because these guys are stuck there, I think. All right. They can't move here. That's a shame. That's a real shame that the 13th Army can't move and cut that off. I bet these guys could have, and that's exactly what I would have done with these tanks. I would have zipped over here. Um, this is actually good how it is. I'm actually all right with that. These guys can't move. These guys can't move. They can't move. Uh, I'm going to leave the cavalry there. I'm going to pat. I'm I'm going to. I'm going to move to Zenigrad. Oh, I'm stupid. How stupid of me. No, we'll move the. We have these other units. We have. Uh, the Seventh Guards. They go to Zenigrad. Imagine what the armored cars paired with the tanks will do. That's right. Well, I don't have the armored cars. They're still building them there. I've got to move them from Siberia or something. Oh, sure. Munch on that guy. I don't care. No hits on them. No hits on them. Now they will take Bryansk. Which you can tell I put zero effort into taking. I put all of it into Moscow. I'm getting really poor turn uh, time passing between turns, though. Okay, so 4th Tank Brigade will go here. We can move them together. Look at that, zero time passed again. And that's important because that means how many turns they get. Oh, yes! Yes! Nail those Nazi panzers. Oh, that's a win. 
That's a win right there. That doesn't look like six hours. That was bad for them. Stupid Nazi tank. I'm going to move one unit to Rege up there from Rejev. The strong one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sure. It's all infantry. That Those infantry, they won't get into the fight. I actually put a hit on them. A miracle. Alright, what else I got to move? Just this cavalry unit? If I pull out, they're going to move here, and they could potentially... I'm going to leave the cavalry right where they're at. I've had to try to fight those guys, and they defend like a mo, mofo in there. Okay. It's time to pass. Oh, good. A big jump. That's okay. That's all right. Let's put some hits on him. Got a hit. Okay. What do we put a hit on? The sixth Panzer. I'm going to pass again. Yes. I got nobody I can move, so only one unit can go across that river. Let's see if we can deal with them. Yeah! Take that, you bastard. And I don't have anybody to move, so pass again. Yep. Jeez, zero hours. They're getting so lucky. Oh, well, I can hold them. Wow. I've actually never seen that happen. Get them, cavalry boys. Yeah. Zero hours again. If I were to move here and survive, that would cause supply problems for him. For the third Panzer. But I'm going to keep them together. I don't have anybody de defending a rel. There we go. Turn over. Who are they going to interdict this time? The 13th Army. Here's a prepared offensive. I held. I call that a win. <laughs> okay. Here's my reinforcements. I get a fifth army and the first guards motorized. Those are those armored cars. All right. So we're going to pick where they go. We're going to put the fifth army here in Moscow. And the armored cars. I 
half a mind to put them up here. Kursk is three points and we're fighting over it. <laughs> Ninth Panzer's out of fuel. Ah, you moron. Okay, perfect. And this guy took Bryansk, and I guess they somebody went and stole all their uh, all the gypsies and, and Bryansk stole all their fuel. <laughs> hey, I gotta came up come up with a backstory. Let's put the guards motorized. Let's put the armored cars here. I got more options. All right, how far can they go? Oh, they can get pretty far. That's pretty cool. All right, we got a pretty hefty unit in Moscow. What can this tank brigade do? Oh, look at this. I can hop on this zone. What's that combat look like? I'm not, I don't need to do it. I don't need to do it. Let's right-click our way out of that. Okay. What if this guy hopped him? I just want to see what the odds are. I'm not going to do any of this stuff. Yeah, it's not the time or place for it, comrade. Those guys are going to hold. I think we're going to move. Oh, one more thing I want to check. I want to see what the odds are of this. A chance of getting a hit. Man, it'd be nice to throw a second u one unit in there. But you know damn well one of these two units is going to go into there. And he can't reach, and they can't reach. No, 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 right click, right click. Yeah, no. Okay. Armored cars. And we're going to put the pressure on them and put them here. Come, Ed. Nor says to give the fascist invader the bayonet. Not one step back. Eh. Maybe some sidesteps. <laughs> oh yeah, those guys are gonna just get blown to Kingdom Come. No, nope, they didn't take any Panzers with them. This is the bad part, what's about to happen, their exploit. Man, I wish they moved everybody forward. I'd jump out of Rejev and try to cut them off. Okay. Well, what does this even look like? Stay put, they will. I don't think they can get here this turn. But I may have to bail out of there. Alright, want to keep these guys where they're at, this where they're at, these guys where they're at. We're going to move them. Here. Nah. No, 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 no. Let's undo that part.
So they apparently can move two. One, two. If I was here, I'd be able to move to either zone. I'm going to move them here. A tank brigade. Let's hope that wasn't a mistake. I've never seen him take that supply point, ever. Okay, well. That doesn't do anything. Carry on the struggle. <laughs> oh, these poor guys. Maybe we can take a Panzer with us. Well. That would be a no. I think we got to keep them right there. Let's look at the calendar. Okay, this is the day that we're doing. So I'm going to give... I'm going to get the Belov unit, and then I get two tank brigades. Okay. And I'm going to start getting no replacements this turn. All right, let's close this. Anybody within striking range of Rejev this turn? No. I'm going to pull one of these guys out. Not both. I don't want them to just walk in there. Get some panzers, get some panzers, get some panzers. Two more panzers. Yeah, they can pull out. For some reason, I'm able to pull out. I'm not going to, but for some reason, I'm able to pull out. For some unknown reason, I don't think there's anything I can do at this point. Let's just hope for some fuel shortages on the Panzers. And let's let, come on, a big turn. Oh, yeah, 12 hours. I love it. Yeah, it's a smart move right there. You can get your, you know, what cut off. Pass again. Yep. Oh, another 12 hours. Perfect. Waste your time killing those guys. Absolutely. Turns over. Who are they interdicting? The 4th Tank Brigade. Wow, he held. That's unbelievable. 
Look at that. 12 hours passed on their turn. Wow, I couldn't hope for better things than that. Okay, we got the Belov Guards Tank di uh, Cavalry Division or something. They're going to go to Moscow. They're going right here in Moscow. Now, we're going to commit to that. What happens if we do this? Not a good move. All right. Well, we're just standing by there monitoring a situation. All right. Let's take a look at our situation here all the way on this side. Got one of these is out of fuel. Nobody within two of a rel. And once the mud season comes, they can only move one. I can't cut him off because he can still draw supply through here, so no point in jumping out there. They've already done their turns, and there's no reason to pull out. Who's within strike range of Ruza? These guys. See, if they activate them now, they could go here, but then they wouldn't have tank support. So I think that's pretty safe. If this 7th Panzer moves here, I'll move this way and cut them off, or this way and cut them off. I like how everything's over there at. I mean, I, I don't, I don't like it like it, but I can deal with it. If something goes sideways, it's going to be this guy next turn. They've already done their turn. I'm going to pass now. I'm going to pass at this moment. I'm going to pass. Ah, I was hoping more of a turn than that. <laughs> sure, waste your time killing those guys. Yeah, they're not going to get to shoot back at all. They're totally surrounded. It's not infantry is free to move, but they can only move like one. I'm going to pass again. That changed nothing. Oh, uh, zero hours. They're going to jump on Rajev, aren't they? Well, maybe we can take some folks with us. There you go. Put two hits on them, and I took none. Nice. No. Nope. Still passing. I was hoping for 12, but you can only get those sometimes. Nobody took a hit there. I call that a win. What if I was to activate them? Oh, there's no chance of getting a hit on them either. Lots of trees. Lots of trees. Pass again. Yep. Six hours. Mm hmm. I was wondering how long it was going to take for that to happen. Uh, now we got to pull back to Aurel. have to, unfortunately. I'm going to fight him. Am I? One, two, 
No. No, they could just waltz in there. Let's not do that. Let's... Now, these Panzers are probably going to move out. That's fine. They can weaken their position there. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's fine. Let's take some tanks with us. Maybe. There you go. Back with roast dinner. I'm roasting Panzers. One more turn to do something. What if I activate these clowns here? Can they do anything? That could be a, like a suicide charge. Let's not do that. I, I, he's. Those armored cars are doing their job right there. This guy's fine. I don't want them to get a blitz. So... I'm going to have to move them here. I don't want to move them out because then he can attack. That's what my move is going to be. Excellent. Who the interdict? The 4th tank brigade again. That's fine. Mm -hmm. This guy held last time. That's not bad. Look at all these rebuilds I get. I can rebuild, guys, or get, um... Here's your music that you like. I'm a commie bastard. Okay. <laughs> your dinner is better. Yeah. Okay, so I can rebuild these guys, three infantry or an armor. Are there any armor here to rebuild? May not be. No. So this armor point's definitely going to use for strengthening. The other stuff I can, I can add those guys on here. And they're small, like very weak units. All right, let's close this. All right, let's the armor rebuild. I may not be able to use it. Because the only armor units I have are the 4th Tank Brigade, which has taken no hits. They're just scared of my tanks. All right, so we want to spend... That's not a bad place. We got these guys in combat. They're going to get one. Oh, but not the militia. Well, let's give them one. And then the other... One here. And then the last one here. And I can't do anything for the armor. Actually, no. Let me go back. Let's go back. Okay, because I can either give them one point or a whole other unit that's worth two units. So we're going to do the 5th Airborne definitely for one of them. And I don't really have two units for that. Did we end up giving one of these guys a reinforcement? Yeah, I want three units because I can drop one here, one here, and the other one on Tepifan. So, which one of these guys is elite? The 5th Airborne? Alright, we're going to put the Airborne here. Oh. Yeah, they're all two. Except this one's elite because it's got an, an emblem. So, we're going to put the 5th Air Airborne there. We're going to put... 30th Army here. And we're 
going to put 32nd Army here. And I can't use the armor one because I haven't taken the armor casualties. And I get these two brigades, the two tank brigades. I didn't know that. Well, that's pretty freaking handy. One goes there. The other one goes there. Now, activation. Can't quite reach there. So I don't want these guys to strike into Col Columna, hit it, cause them to retreat, and they get a free blitz out of the business. Because that's what I'm concerned about is getting a blitz. Where can this tank go? He can go everywhere. One of these two units is going to go here. One of them is going to go there. Put the tank brigade here. And this guy here. Nice. I don't care if I retreat, I took two tanks with me. And look who's facing them. Tanks. And 12 hours went by. Now. What else is up here? 32nd Army? Where can they go? Oh, they go here. That's going to happen anyways. Oh, nice. Oh, that was devastating for them. Oh, that was devastating. Now we got a uh, All right, hold on a second. I got to take care of something. We got a spammer. Spamming shit they shouldn't be spamming. I can't do it from this screen. Well, All right. Thank you, man. I want to know who's doing that. Give them something that, like, gives them explosive diarrhea or some shit like that. Some Chinese guy at home just... <laughs> well, I think, we're, I think we're in really good shape. Oh, this guy's out of supply. Oh, sucks to be... You captured a supply point. You don't have any supplies. Oh, suck to be you. No, no chance of doing anything to him. No chance of doing anything there. We're pretty solid here. I could move, like, this guy over one, but... 
I don't really see the need to do that. I don't see the need to do that. Alright, well, we gotta move these guys down. So, we can keep them together. And either be within one of Kursk. Only one more guy can fit in there. So, with that being the case, um, we're going to let it be the tank brigade because there's no tanks here, so we can get some combined arm stuff. Okay. And 30th Army can move here. So they can move into a rel. Eventually. Just hold on, 29th Army. Took a guy with us. I don't know. They don't have the strength there. They don't have the. They only have a tank strength of two. The motorized has a strength of two, and the Lair Brigade has one. That's not enough to take out four guys that are defending a, a buildings. That ain't gonna do it. That ain't gonna do it. These guys need to stay right where they're at. I don't think I can... No. <laughs> I cut these guys off. But the 9th Panzer and the 3rd, they're screwed. They're in bad shape. Is there anything to bring up for reserves? No. Pass it is. Come on. We're going to do our counterattack here pretty soon. Yeah, that was a bad move. You activate one zone, only has one guy in it. Six hours go by. I'm passing again. Yep. Oh, man, no hours. All right, move another group. I don't know that that's that good a move for him, but... Can I do something dirty with that? No. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go here and see what that even does. Nah, no chances of doing anything. Pass it is. Yep. Patience. Gotta be patient. wanted to see what the odds are. It's not going to look good for them next turn. There. Not going to look good. Pass it is. Come on. Let's end this day. Come on. Zero hours. Yeah, 34th Corps is never going to get into action. The war will be over before. Look at that. Mud season. Okay, he put the armor, he put the armor supply there. He got an armor reinforcement and it went there. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I get three infantry builds. Let's look at the calendar and... You know, those are the rebuildable units, right? Where's the one that says 7th, 18th? We're out of fuel. Where's the screen that shows me what I get for reinforcements? I can't access it from here. Interesting. All right, let's look at the situation here. Have I found a way to use an armor one yet? No, they're too scared of fighting my tanks. Okay, is there any infantry that's currently in combat that I want to 
spend the points on. I don't think so. Because if I spend a point on a unit that's in combat, I could either re I could rebuild a unit of two instead. So unless I need somebody... Actually, this guy might be all right to be in there. Let's spend one in there. I don't need to do it there. Let's not lose the guards. Watch this. Look at this. Blast them. Kill those panzers. Knocked out one panzer division. You're not getting that one back. Let's see what great idea the Germans have. That's not it. That's not it. I don't know. This is looking pretty solid. That one army holding up three German units. Yep. Yeah. 29th Army, man. They're, they're, they did a great job. They did a great job. He's already moved. He hasn't gone. If he goes here, he's an idiot. Um, I don't know what useful thing this guy could do. I don't think the 5th Panzer would come and mess with the armored cars. Honestly, everything looks pretty solid here. could move them here. That puts extra pressure on them. These guys may be able to make it to Tula. So I'm going to zip these guys to Tula. Panzer's lost in the forest. Why did the CPU spread out their panzer strength instead of combining their several... T I don't know. Schnapps. Um, panzer schnapps. You know what? Kalinin is on the other side of a river, so they'll only be attacking me with one guy at a time from there. Someone needs to be relieved, this German commander. That's right. Well, it's supposedly Guderian. <laughs> That's what I selected. <laughs> Dude, we're just going to pass. Oh, yeah, good old 12 hours. Move those infantry up. Oh, 18 hours. Ooh, bad day. Pass again. Didn't know you could do 18 hours. Another 12. They're running out of time, big time. Pass again. Who are they going to move? 
Oh, the infantry moved just as far as the panzers in the mud. Turn over. One infantry replacement. Come on, guys. Give them hell. Hey, I call that a win. And 12 hours go by. See, at this point... Oh, maybe here... Maybe here... Here we go. Calendar. Okay, I don't get any new units here. For a while. Not until the 11th. Then we get three tank brigades. Okay. Uh, let's close this. Uh, three infantry. These guys did so well. Well, before we decide to do that. Oh, I got an armor replacement I can now do. Yes! We're giving these guys an infantry replacement. Those guys earned it. Whoever's in command of the 24th Army is given a medal. His command is holding up the entire flank. It's actually the 29th Army, so you must be shot. <laughs> yeah, no, they're doing their job, man. That's why they get another replacement. That's why they get another replacement. And... Oh, the 9th Panzer's fucked. Oh, they're so screwed. Um, I think I'm going to drop a unit there. Moscow doesn't need anything else. <laughs> the 20th Panzer's out of fuel. <laughs> and so is the 11th. Oh, they're doomed. They're doomed. Well, I don't know who this guy is. O.G. Ermakov, Operation Group Ermakov, reporting for duty. Oh, and I get another one? Oh, they got... Third Army, right there. Let's commit to that. Now... <laughs> Uh huh. Blast them. Three hits on a unit that could only take three. Okay, now they're encircled. The guys at Rujev. Now these guys are encircled. So. That's why we don't feed you anything. So when you get surrounded, hey, it's no hardship. It's just another Tuesday. Let's see what, the, what kind of damage these guys are able to do by themselves. Mm, just to kind of gauge the strength. All right. Operations Group Ermakov is going to move into Tula. Definitely putting up a more skillful defense of Moscow than the CPU did. Yep. This guy's in a crucial spot. He's in a crucial spot. These guys are golden where they're at. So is the tank brigade. Start building up a strike force in there.
and they changed their mind about being in the being in the woods. They heard some spooky sounds. Well, if they're going to be like that, then we're going to drop the 30th Army there. I dare those guys to come out of the woods and attack Tula. I'll cut their ass off. In Soviet Russia, food eats you, comrade. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. That's right. Dude, we're golden. We're golden. What is that guy going to do? You guys are taking... You guys are going to get yourselves in trouble. Maybe. Maybe. Can't quite cut him off. You move out here and I will. I sure as hell will close that door. I'm passing. Trying to slide their panzer towards Moscow. Oh. <laughs> Spooky. Oonga boonga in the woods. What are you guys going to do? That ain't going to work. That ain't going to work because all I'm going to do then is... What does this guy do by themselves? Just for yucks. In real life, yeah, you throw tanks up against half track, but there's other stuff in these units that's just not half tracks. They got any tank guns and stuff like that. Well, one thing's for sure, it'll leave this guy in supply. Alright, let's go back and see if those odds are better or these odds are better. Could take up to three losses potentially. And here, I could take up to maximum of two. Okay. Or, I could move them here. That's not going to leave the supply. Yeah, if I put a guy here, it'll keep it supplied. I'm going to go on the offense. I'm going to go on the offense. Well, that was a bad move. That was a bad move. Whoops. Whoops. Hey, I got to make some mistakes. Good. I needed a challenge. Still holding on. Self propelled guns as well. Hey, Steve. All right, let's close this. I don't get any reinforcements this turn, I remember. Now, can I rebuild? I can rebuild. A tank unit. Well, that's definitely going to get rebuilt. We don't need it in Moscow. Who stalled? This guy stalled. It might be the Battle of Kalinin. Okay, do we need any infantry reinforcements? <laughs> Forgot to 
shout your battle cry. Hoorah! <laughs> I can't give reinforcements to these guys. These guys are full strength. 33rd Army could be stronger. All right, we're going to put 43rd Army there. We're going to put 49th Army here. The tank division. Oh, I can't do that. I see. I see. Okay. Well, we want the tanks here, I think. I think that's where we want the tank division. We want the tank division there. All right. So where we have two more infantry units we can put or strengthen them. Um... Let's strengthen him. And I don't need anybody at Kursk. We do need to come to the rescue of this guy. It should be relatively easy. I tell you what, I am going to... Let's put a cavalry unit there. No, we can certainly open this up. Well, you know, that can wait. I can wait. If they decide to move in here, they're going to get their ass cut off. You go with the army with the armored cars and shore up that flank. Okay. Let me see what would happen if I decided to go on the offense here. Oh, that's not how you click on it. Except I don't have anybody covering their ass. Okay, so let's move 43rd Army. Oh, I can move them into Kalinin. Yeah, that's what you do. That rail, man. Let's see what great idea these guys are going to have. We can hold. Told you. Now. seal behind them. All right, we should have plenty of time to do that. Now, I want to put somebody here and then go on the counterattack. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff pointing at Kalinin. I don't think I could... Are these guys just going to have to hold on. They're just, they're just going to have to. I can't punch through here. Um, even if I could, I'm not going to leave this open. This guy doesn't have the strength to go in there. I couldn't move them into Kalinin. But I don't really want German units here where they could sneak up behind me. So he's going to stay where he's at. Um, I could take one of these guys. Nope, he can't reach there in one turn. All right. What about... Nope, not yet. What about the paratroop guys? Nope. I think Tula is pretty safe. Kursk is safe. All right, let's take this tank brigade.
It's a strength of two. These half tracks haven't gone yet. I'm moving them to here. And then the next turn, when I go this guy, this group is going to move here open. So next turn, if they stay out here, I'll come and cut their ass off. See if they attack me. They might. That's all right, too. There you go. Put a hit on them, and I stayed there. Excellent. Open a gap in your line. Pull 22nd Army back to Kozlovo. Where's 22nd Army? Let's see. Where's Kozlovo? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I think that they're... Man, these guys come up here and decide to push in here. I'll cut their ass off. I think they don't know they're there. I'm just waiting for them to take a little choo-choo train here through the woods. There'll be curtains for you. All right, what can this guy do? I gotta, I gotta see what this, what the odds are here. Well, I've already gone, so the tank isn't going to be able to fight. Yeah, that's 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 not the right move. That's not the right move. Okay, what about this cavalry? No. What about this tank? No. Well, that would definitely... Um, what would this do? Oh, what would this do? I don't think I dislike that. I don't think I dislike that at all. And then these guys. I'm uh, sure I got a Panzer Division here, but if you want to get tied in, and then we'll be back in supply again. Let's do it. Hoorah! I guess the battle cry helped. <laughs> oh, fourth panzer, you dumb bastards. You're screwed now. Sure. Hey, I call that a... That scenario helped. The more people of my own people I get killed off... The less uh, I got to feed them. Let me turn this light on back here. <laughs> this is a wonderful little game. I mean, you think this game's worth four bucks? You better believe it. <laughs> the battle cry always. Uh, need a banner, too. I love playing Soviets. They're a lot of fun. Now... This guy at Kursk, this guy's tied down. Nobody's going to come to your rescue. This probably won't work. Correct. We're not doing that. Um, it's a shame I can't go here. Um, all right, what do we got here? We got this operations group. He's good where he's at. See, this river, I can only bring one guy across that. I can only bring one guy across that. Same thing. I'm pretty sure the 5th Panzer isn't going to be able to go across this river into woods. That would be uh, bad for them. Let's just see what, what kind of numbers we're looking at. Not good numbers. All right. If I attack with everybody here, 
I don't know how far they can move. I don't know how far these guys could move. I'm guessing only one. Um, if I attack with this... I'm going to tie those guys up. And as long as... I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to pass. We're going to pass, right? There's nobody to bring up. Yeah. Yeah. Very little time. You can get the both the bulge in this game. Yeah, I got them both. I play the bulge one a lot, too. It's better on the computer than it is on the Xbox. Oh, man. I'm glad I brought that other guy in there. See, I'd love to bring this guy here, but that ain't happening. Man, I think everything's pretty I think everything's pretty solid. Mm-hmm. Well what's he gonna do by himself there? What's he gonna do by himself? I mean I could have come down here and then opened the supply line to him, kind of, but then these guys would just cut me off, so that's not the right move. As soon as I rebuild one of these guys, I'll let this seventh guards come over here to the cent to center and maybe exploit things from there. I'm gonna pass again. Yep. Let lots of time go by. There you go. Nice. Maloyarolovets. <laughs> right? Maloyaroslavets. Maloyaroslavets. That doesn't change anything. We're still passing. Yep. They've stalled so much, the infantry's caught up. Right, nothing over here? Yeah, I'm leaving the... Cavalry at Kursk. Yeah, the time passage is, is random. That's what makes this game. Can't cut them off if I come over here. They're still going to be able to feed from this direction. That's all right. Should move the 5th into here. 5th Panzer into there. Then I'll have to put more reinforcement of Plodotska. Pass. Yep. Big time. Come on. Oh, about time you did that. I was a lot stronger to put a guy here to tie that up and, and dwindle his supplies, but I feel pretty comfortable with these guys up here. Turns over. They put the infantry there. Look at that. <laughs> Those 45 millimeter guns are are doing their job. Oh yeah, 12 hours. Now, let's close this. Let's go over to the calendar, now that we know where it is. And what day is it today? Oh, I still don't get... These tank brigades, things are going to get nasty for them. Okay, 
Let's close this. All right. Do I have a place to put an armor replacement? I do. It's going to be right there. I'll prioritize it. That. Oh, and this guy's out of fuel. Sucks to be him. Uh, no other armor places I can put, right? Anybody else out of fuel here? Oh, no. Looks like the, the Germans have fuel. All right. Yeah, this guy's full to surrounder, which means they're not going to be able to defend. They're not going to defend anything out. Okay, so the armor is going to go on here. Okay. Um, three infantry replacements. I'm going to put them there. I'm going to put 24th Army there. They're never going to make any headway. I think that's strong enough. I think that's strong enough to hold them. But just to be safe, let's give them another one. Okay, let's commit. Now, let's just see what my attack would be. Yeah, it's like even Steven, so. All right. What's this attack by itself? Kind of favorable. What's this look like then? Not bad. Oh yeah, let's blast this. Let's let's just destroy these guys. Bye bye, Fourth Panzer. See ya. Yep. Look at that, they didn't take him out. Give those guys another medal. 29th Army. Wow, they didn't have any supply issues. Interesting. What if I was to do this? It wouldn't be horrible, but it's unnecessary, especially since the 17th Panzer's already done their thing. Okay, what about the armored cars? What if you send the armored cars over here? That's no better than that group. It's no better than this. Oh, I forgot to do the hurrah! Well, I got a hit on them. Oh, they got two units that have one hit each. Oh, now they're going to do some combined arms. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, good thing I sent, sent reinforcements over there. Okay. Well, you might just um, throw more reinforcements in there when I get the supplies. This is stronger than it was. These guys are in supply and they weren't in supply before. We're going to take this 24th army. You know, I'm going to I don't want to leave Moscow empty. Because whether or not I move them here or not, it's not going to make any of much any difference. These guys are good where they're at. These guys are Good where they're, let's look at the supply situation. Well, that's hard to read. Let's zoom out a little bit. If I come over here, they're still going to be able to draw a supply through here. So there's no... There's no point in doing that. <sighs> 
I move all the way down here, these Panzer Grenadiers, look at all this stuff just sitting back here, just dry rotten away. I'm going to pass. Come on, big time pass passage. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why they're able to pull out, but they're able to. Doesn't mean I won't strike you. Look, you're right next to another big strike force next turn. Passing again. Yep. They're already retreating. Pass. Oh, uh, what are they doing? Oh, they're moving into Bryansk. Well, they're already in Bryansk. They already have control of it. Passing again. Zhukovka, Zhukovka. Oh, they still get one. No, they didn't get a turn. It ended. Okay, so they added the reinforcement there. Come on, hold on. That was it. The brave defenders of Rzhev. I think I get any reinforcements this time, right? Uh, calendar. The Calendar. It's the 10th. Tomorrow I get three tank brigades. Oh, they're screwed then. Oh, they're screwed. Okay, so we're going to close this. All right, let's see who's in combat. All right, we need to give them a supply. We need to give them a supply too. We don't want Rajev to fall. Um, we don't want the f 40th. Is there anything here that's more pressing? This is pretty solid. I'm going to give, I'm going to give another Rejev there. And I get an armor point. Is there somebody to use it on? Yep. Either this guy or him. I'm going to do that guy, because we're going on the counteroffensive. Now, because these guys aren't going to be strong enough to take them out. They are. And just to kind of gauge, uh, those tanks are not very strong. Now, what happens if I were to do this? Bye bye. Two Panzer Grenadier units gone. Well, now they're going to need the infantry. Oh, Kalinin. Man, it's a good thing I put reinforcements there. I put, I gave them three, and they took two. They've already moved. Yeah. I'd love to come down here and strike on them, but now is not the time or place. What does this even look like? God, it's not that bad. I mean, I don't have anybody blocking their the defense, so they can't do that.
have. Cutting these guys off is not going to do any good. We've got this 24th Army that's new. So, if we move them here, we'll be able to strike with these down, and there'll be somebody to cover them. If they decide to come in here, we can close behind them, and they'll be cut off. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, go ahead. Put another hit on themselves. I don't care if I retreat. Panzers just took another hit. They can't reach a rel. But these guys can. Let's move them here. Infantry. Infantry's going to come in. Have to try to carry the day. Cavalry goes there. Come mess with them in the woods. March of the Lancers. They're going to show up just in time for the tank, those three tank brigades to get unleashed on their ass. This is all solid now. What's this even look like? I say, let's do it. Hurrah! Let's see if they take the bait. Nope. Okay. Well, now you just gave me opportunity to put someone here as a speed bump. But this is a road. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this guy and move them all the way to here. If they attack through here, they're going to be cut off in a moment. Weaken your forces. Weaken your forces. One more. One more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One more. That's okay. We will rebuild you. Okay, now we move the front lines. Now we move the front lines to... See how we want to do this. We will move this guy here and this guy here. Oh, go right ahead. Go 
right ahead. These guys have already gone, right? And the retreat. Nice. Meanwhile, anything over here? Nope. Armored cars? Nothing up here. That guy's still good. Those guys still good. I think we're solid. Mm-hmm. Try to take Rajev. Oh, they're not. Okay, that'll work. Get them. Get them good. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, I believe I get three tank brigades here. Let's close this up. Who's out of fuel? These guys here? If I attack here and win, they have nobody that connects their supply line. So there is a big incentive for me to attack here because these three units will end up being out of supply. But Rejev's also important. I mean, not Rejev, Kalinin, sorry. Kalinin. Um, we should be getting three tank brigades. One of them's going to go here. The other one will go here. We don't need any. We don't need any reinforcements over on this end. Um, we do have an armor reinforcement, and I think that's the only place I can put it. No, nope. I can put it here as well. Uh, I would rather not lose Aurel, so I'm going to put it there. Um, wow, these guys are really weak. Other than this, this is that's a brutal strike force. That's a pretty brutal strike force. Let's add a strength point there. Actually, let's do another strength point there. And another one here. All right, the big tank brigade goes to Moscow. Okay, the 58th goes here, and the 112th goes here. You can't put more than one in each one. Now, I say let him frickin' attack me. Ooh. 
Hurra! Well, kicked him out of there. I got my two victory points back. Ah, I got an achievement. Not this time. Not this time, comrade. These guys already went. What happens if I do this? I take a beating. So we're not going to do that. Or it looks like I would take a beating. So remember, that's just kind of an idea of what it could possibly be. What about this? Those aren't very good odds. Okay. Yeah, fifth Airborne, move them to there. That's not so bad. All right, it's time to threaten these guys. Send everybody. No? Okay. Hold them. Hold them. Glad I moved that tank brigade there. I don't think these guys have the strength to close in through here. Okay, so the airborne goes here and the tank brigade goes there. Oh, we got this tank brigade, too. Get him. Mow him down. Oh, yeah. Well, that was costly for him. Of course, it was costly for me, too. done their thing. Eighteen hours passed. Bet this infantry down here is going to move next. Well, what do I know? Let's do it. Hurrah! Got a hit on him. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's bad when they go and run into the forest. <laughs> As I was just going to bounce on. Ooh. 
Can they go in there and chop him to bits? Uh, it probably won't do anything, so let's not do that just yet. But I am going to um, reinforce that. Infantry want no part of that. Right, there's nobody down here that can jump on them? Nope. They can't move. This tank brigade. That's five strength points. This is seven. Snow happens. Okay, here's another prepared offensive. I don't get any defensive fire. That's probably going to drop Kalinian. Yep. Yep. Another prepared offensive. It's not too bad. And the third one. I can't put any hits on him. I only took one. Take a look at the calendar. This is the second prepare offensive. I get no more new units here for a while. So we're going to close this. Okay, armor replacements. This armor replacement, hell, it's in combat. So, yeah. I can't strengthen them anymore. Uh, any elite units? No. Um, no, not going to strengthen them over there. We got this front kind of open, so let's um, let's put fiftieth army here, forty ninth army here. We're going to commit to that. All right, and we're going to have to call it a night. I'm going to go ahead and save this, but um, I got some other stuff I got to do. We're going to save this, and we will pick this up next time we pick it up. But thanks for stopping by, folks, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I, I maybe convinced you to spend $4 out of your hard-earned money for it because uh, it's certainly worth it.